everybody and welcome back to Nick and Willikins. In the last episode we found the witness, we found out some information about what might have been used for the murder and now we need to find, what the, uh, find the actual weapon and we need to find other stuff. So if you've got any tips write it in the comment section below and I'll get into the get That detective fellow gave me this. So I think it's meant to track my progress in gathering the four elements that can exonerate Master Nick. Motive, murder weapon, proof of sanity, and a witness. As of now, I've managed to locate a witness. Okay. Let's see what this is about this. I dare say he looks familiar, but it's difficult to tell with him lying face down like that. Also, I'm certain I don't know any corpses. I think we're going to go and ring the detective and tell him we've got a witness. So we'll go and tell him that. We'll go up to the bedroom and get the mobile phone again. the offices of Clever Rules, home of the great detective Clever Rules. Speaking to you now is the great detective himself, Clever Rules. Uh, Mr. Rules? Call me Clever. Uh, rather. I was wondering if you could provide me with more information. Inquire away. Hmm. Okay, so is there anything <clears throat> we can think of? Look. My god, this man has the head of a coat hanger. Mm. Hello, Sam. I mean, Max. I don't think there's anything in here, so... Let's have a look. We need to make sure. He's going to have a look for the motive. We'll have a look in the garden again. You may think pulling this opens a secret passage or something, but it really just holds candles. Okay, let's have a look in the garden again. I've always thought this thing was a bit unsettling, but I'm also fairly certain that there should be two of them. Surely one of them didn't just get up and walk away though, did it? And do I actually want an answer to this question? This hedge maze began as a topiary animal, a very tall, very square snake. Violets after dinner parties in the not blue, the bloody violet.
One must admire its directness, I suppose. I wonder, my dear, if you might be able to help me locate proof of Master Nick's sanity. No, then she can't. <clears throat> um... Excuse me, Mum, but I'm looking to establish proof of Master Nick's sanity. Any chance you could assist me with this endeavor? Okay, it's for love. I'll say this for Master Nick, he's a stickler for symmetry, fearful or otherwise. A true gentleman's pursuit, so naturally Master Nick hasn't come anywhere near these. Okay. Behold the thylacine. Alright, I'm beholding. Now what? Master Nick typically dines alone and seats himself here at the head of the table. On occasion, he'll ask me to join him at what he calls the arse of the table. Oddly, the plant is completely real. It's the pot that's fake. Master Nick insists upon having at least eight stone of potatoes available at any given moment. I believe this was after he'd seen a documentary about Elvis on the telly. Dry. Okay, nothing in here. Let's go look in the wine cellar. made of apples. Well, mostly apples. I dare speculate what's even in this bottle. I'm dead certain it isn't wine. If my upper lip were any stiffer, my face wouldn't work. Every time I straighten that, Master Nick comes down here to crooked it. It's the only time he ever comes down here. Master Nick believes this is my favorite toy, but it doesn't even squeak. Great.
This would be tree number 36, I believe. I finally convinced Master Nick that the Victorian practice of decorating with working candles was, to put it mildly, unsafe. Sir, I must insist that you allow me to look under your bed. Willikins, I've decided to try being indecisive. I always wanted to be a logical paradox. Really, sir? Is that what you've always wanted to be today? And so, in answer to the question, may I look under the bed, I say to you, I don't know. You don't know? That's right. Sir, you realize I'm doing all of this to exonerate you of the rather serious murder charges that are currently hanging over you. Then you better help me make up my mind quickly, hadn't you? <sighs> Very well. Yes, I may look under your bed. Not good enough. I need you to introduce some kind of random element. A device of some sort that will make the decision for me in a satisfyingly unpredictable fashion. Sir, you're just needlessly complicating things at this point. Oh, you always say that. Now off you go. Master Nick's family sigil. Actually, it's a Z that I turned sideways. Don't tell anyone. Your secret is safe with me. Well, you can stay out of there. That area is off limits to you. Okay. Let's see if we've got the number for anyone else on the phone. It's a crime to call 999 when there's no emergency. I already reported the one, and no further emergency has occurred since then, that I know of anyway. Master Nick is convinced he's a vampire and would break his heart to discover otherwise. Capable of flight, as are all standard British umbrellas. Sadly, I am not licensed to operate it. Master Nick made one of the guards at Buckingham Palace laugh, and so... In keeping with ancient tradition, he was allowed to keep the hat. I have no idea who this is. I regularly have to assure Master Nick that a boogied man does not, in fact, reside inside this wardrobe. Okay, so we've got no other clothes or anything at the minute. Um, so look at this rocking horse. I hate this thing. It knows why. Anything in here? The bin? It's a rubbish bin. Rubbish goes in here. And yet you're not in it! It's a sink. Or basin? Blast, where's my English to American dictionary? Where there was one set of footprints, that's where I was carrying you. Inspiring. Okay then, let's see if there's anything else we can think of doing. Need to look under Sir, I must insist that you allow me to look under your bed. Willikins, I've decided to try being indecisive. 
I always wanted to be a logical paradox. Really, sir? Is that what you've always wanted to be today? And so, in answer to the question, may I look under the bed, I say to you, I don't know. You don't know? That's right. Sir, you realize I'm doing all of this to exonerate you of the rather serious murder charges that are currently hanging over you. Then you better help me make up my mind quickly, hadn't you? <sighs> Very well. Yes, I may look under your bed. I don't know if you'd let Not me, good enough. I need you to introduce some kind of random element. A device of some sort that will make the decision for me in a satisfyingly unpredictable fashion. Sir, you're just needlessly complicating things at this point. Oh, you always say that. Now off you go. I'd rather not if it's all the same. That detective fellow gave me this. It's meant to track my progress in gathering the four elements that can exonerate Master Nick. Motive, murder weapon, proof of sanity, and a witness. As of now, I've managed to locate... a witness. anything from that this was left by an activist of some sort it appears to have been left here somewhere around the time our deceased friend arrived in the entrance hall typically I'd ignore such a person but perhaps they have information useful to my investigation it seems that someone attempted to deliver a package around the time of the murder. I wonder if the delivery person saw anything. It you appears to have it. one of those bloody QR codes on it that everyone seems to think people actually use. This one looks more like an owl to me. Bit of a reach, don't you think? Your breakfast, sir. Willikins! A palate as advanced as mine is not interested in the taste of one food. I told you to combine them. Pelicans, let me put this in a way you'll understand. Go downstairs and prepare me some proper brekkie. Hello, Sir Winston. Okay, there's nothing up here in the... gallery again. This isn't a painting, it's a plant. Okay. It's a door. We don't have a special word for door here. It's the same as your American doors. So there's nothing in here that I can see. So where would um, the weapon be then? It's, uh, there's nothing in the entrance hall at all. And I've looked there. There's nothing particularly special about this one either, except that this one is a vase. Just a vase, nothing special about it.
I fear I did all the reading I'm ever likely to do at Cambridge. Master Nick has threatened to have my eyes hobbled if I'm ever caught with a book. I'd prefer not to learn what he means by that if it's all the same. stuck on the channel that tells you what's on the other channels that aren't this one. Okay, carry on my wayward son, which is baking sure that makes no particular claim of greatness. Carry on. Oh. Crackers. Jeremy Clarkson apologises. Fair enough. That cricket crazy on Coronation Street. Big brother, please just kill us. <laughs> Until someone can get out and fix the satellite aerial, I'm afraid this is our only option. Well then, go out and bloody fix it already. Oh, that is. Master Nick planted the other antler in the back garden some time ago. And yet, no deer have sprouted in that spot. Let's see if we can get the aerial. Someone to... Yeah. She wants the aerial to be fixed. See if there's one outside. Master Nick believes this is a TARDIS. A vast improvement over that time he believed it was a Porta Loo. Are lovely, aren't they? This has been struck by lightning 37 times. Which is three less times than I have. Called the Hedge Maze of Doom for a reason. I dare not venture any further. Okay, so we've got no clues at the minute, we're just stuck again. Rosemary? Mm, I can't recall what Rosemary's called. And we can't pick up this, I don't think. We can only look at it. Mm. The grounds of Nick Hall are currently under extensive renovations in keeping with Master Nick's latest pet project, the Hedge Maze of Doom. Thank you. 
television is not, at present, on. It's stuck on the channel that tells you what's on the other channels that aren't this one. Until someone can get out and fix the satellite aerial, I'm afraid this is our only option. Well then, go out and bloody fix it already! Um, I can't really see anything else I can think of to... Let's have a look at the window. The hedge maze of doom seems to be coming along quite nicely, by which I mean horribly. Oh, that's a bad miss. Don't think we there is anything else. I've looked everywhere for clues. And I can't see really. Yet another view of Master Nick's so-called Hedge Maze of Doom. Particularly foreboding in this light, I'd say. One day Master Nick will almost certainly pull one or both of these from the wall and then swing on the chandelier. Which is why I've already invested in a special broom for cleaning his bloody footprints off the wall. thrilling depiction of that time some blokes threatened a vicar with a cannon and also sang a song to him. Some conspiracy nutters believe there's a cryptic message of some sort hidden in this illustration. We don't actually know this person. I believe we purchased this painting in an estate sale of some kind. Not actually an edible arrangement, though I've been ordered to test that on more than one occasion. Well, I'm not touching that. That detective fellow gave me this. It's meant to track my progress in gathering the four elements that can exonerate Master Nick. Motive, murder weapon, proof of sanity, and a witness. As of now, I've managed to locate a witness. Sanity. Excuse me, Mum, but I'm looking to establish proof of Master Nick's sanity. Any chance you could assist me with this endeavor? Listen here, you senile old bird. I don't have time to deflect your unwanted advances. I need to find proof of Master Nick's sanity immediately. Okay, no good still. 
well I can't find nothing else out and I can't and nothing else is coming to me so let's have a look Miss Petunia has threatened castration if I so much as go near her cuppa I assume she means me but I'd rather not find out to be honest there's nothing I can think of um Nowhere else. I've looked everywhere I can think of. Not actually the last unicorn, as seen in the book and the movie of the same name. This is, in fact, the penultimate unicorn. Okay, I can't see anything else. If anyone knows any clues where anything is just let me know in the comments because I am really really stuck at the minute and stuck Perhaps I should poke that general area with a stick just to ensure that Master Nick is in there. No, I can hear him breathing. Too bad. The dog's bed costs more than I make in a decade. So naturally the little bastard hasn't touched the thing in at least as long. I'm honestly not sure if Master Nick has found a dog food that strongly resembles diamonds, or if he's trained his mangy little dog to actually eat diamonds. Neither would surprise me. If I were a cat, I would knock this off the table. But I'm not, so I won't. Okay, there's nothing I can think of or wherever any weapon could be, anything. That's not a drawer, it's just painted on. If it's all the same, I'd rather not put myself through that again. I've gotten everything I need from them, and shocking though this may seem, I'm not keen to experience that bureaucratic nightmare a second time just for the fun of it. Okay, there's mm, nothing I can think of. No, nothing at all. These clothes have been freshly laundered, but now they're affixed to the floor with sock glue. Well, I think we'll leave it there. I've not got any closer. I'm stuck as it is. So if you'd like to help me in the comment section, it would be grateful, grateful for it. And any uh, tips, anything. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and haven't already. And don't forget to click the thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button because YouTube doesn't tell you if I've uploaded unless you press it. Thanks for watching. Bye!